Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Our bodies change a lot when we get to space, and the brain is no exception. A whole suite of experiments are taking place on board the space station, studying everything from basic hand-eye coordination to astronauts' mood and emotional changes. And Chell Lindgren let us know that it can take a while for the brain to get used to its new surroundings. That takes about six weeks to really feel um, like you're acclimated to moving around and just living in this environment, and also to feel like you really kind of know what you're doing here on the space station on a daily basis. And there are a million things that can affect an astronaut's mental abilities, including getting a good night's sleep. Just like here on the ground, working in space is a whole lot easier when you get enough shut-eye. So the onboard crew has been logging their rest experiences for the Sleep ISS-12 experiment. It's studying how exposure to the space environment and different lighting conditions influence alertness and the quality of sleep. This will help refine astronaut sleep setups for the future and could even help diagnose sleep disorders here on Earth. This week's question is from Richard, who wants to know why astronauts keep their arms folded when they're on camera. Well, why don't we take that question to an expert? Scott Kelly, why do you keep your arms folded? Well, um, it's interesting. You know, it's kind of awkward. The position you, you've, your, your natural like floating position, it's, I don't know, it, it's sort of comfortable, but it's awkward to have your arms out like this, I think. Um, it's also a little chilly in here. Uh, so it's kind of a combination of the two. Thanks, Scott. And keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.